Good evening once again. In March this year, Miriam Patch was tragically killed when her house uh, tumbled down because of a project, a construction project next door. And to speak more about this and about our quality of life and how greed sometimes may be taking over our traditional values is environmental activist Astrid Vella. Good evening, Astrid. How Good are evening. you? Good evening. Good evening, Lena. Um, I'd like to start with your comments about uh, the unnecessary and uh, terrible death of uh, uh, Miriam Parch. Well, Miriam Parch's was a double tragedy because it was absolutely a tragedy that shouldn't have happened uh, since it was so avoidable. The, uh, the dangers uh, th that were around the, that building site had already been flagged up, but unfortunately this is all part of our authorities' uh, refusal uh, on most uh, counts, to take any preventive action against the dangers of, of uh, development. This had been flagged up already last year when that other house had collapsed. Thank God there was no loss of life that time. But as we all know, uh, the people lost their homes, their possessions, and spent months and months Homeless, uh, possibly they still are, I don't know. And again, M Miriam Parch's family are going to face uh, a Christmas without their mother and without even the least consolation of knowing that uh, anything has changed. This had been flagged up, as I said the year before, and instead of tr uh, strengthening laws, new laws were issued which actually weakened the geological elements, the geological safeguard, which is incredible. And to this day, we are without further reform, further redress uh, on uh, either on uh, building regulations or on issues which concern overdevelopment in Malta. Now, I think this really, really ties in with COVID because um, every pandemic that has taken place has changed things and few people realize that the way we build in Malta was changed by the pandemics of the 19th century. The choleras and the plagues of the 19th century dictated uh, new sanitary laws or actually the first sanitary laws which the British had introduced and updated and those 1893 laws were still in force until recently they're very very sound laws and in fact it's often said that it is those laws which ensured that Maltese towns and villages did not or were not built like those say in in southern Italy uh, in Naples and other other towns we've got wider streets well laid out and they made sure that our houses would have good ventilation front and back. Now, incredibly, again, two years ago uh, or three, those laws which had been absolutely sacrosanct um, were weakened. So that now the planning boards can decide, it's at their discretion, whether to enforce them or not. So this is absolutely unthinkable and, uh, and, and is already having an effect on our urban areas because you get uh, permits which are being passed in violation of the sanitary laws. And one of the things that the sanitary laws laid out was the width that, that the height of the building is decided by the width of the streets so that you don't have these unhealthy urban canyons like you do in certain other towns which are unregulated and which are uh, have such an effect on, on our quality of life. And this is what I wanted to come to. Environment is not about distance or not just about trees and animals. Environment is principally about our way, our way of life, our conditions of life. 
and our health. And we always say health comes first. It's abel kollosh. Now, um, health depends on so many factors, but most importantly for uh, for urban living. And let's face it, most of Malta's population live in urban areas, very, very densely populated urban areas. And one of the main factors of health is uh, is air quality and air pollution. We don't realize that air pollution has such a, a big influence on our health. Air pollution doesn't only contribute to asthma, as we're familiar with, with lung complaints, but also 25% uh, of fatal heart attacks occur at times of heavy air pollution. Air pollution contributes to smoke, strokes very heavily and even to dementia. So when we're saying that dementia is really on the increase in Malta, we should be looking at what it's coming from. And one of the things contributing to dementia is air pollution. It, it affects fetal health, the health of the unborn child. It affects also um, mental health and stress. Thank now, you. Thank uh, you. Apple really also has a big, big uh, uh, impact on mental health. So all of these, all of these have a say, as well as noise pollution. Now, all of these are contributed by this untrammeled, this rush to develop every square inch as high as possible. We need carrying capacity studies. We Thank bad you. motors towns badly need to Thank be you. reassessed. Thank and you, Astrid. They can carry. Thank you, because our time is always running out. Uh, you referred to uh, the Patch family, um, Carmel Patch and his family. They're actually, just to give an update, they're living in temporary accommodation now. They're still living in temporary accommodation. And to close, just very briefly, Astrid, your protest in Slima last week, um, you were one of the main organizers. Very briefly, what was it all about? We it was about half a minute. preserving residents' quality of life rather than enriching a handful of Malta's new oligarchs. This cannot carry on. That residents are sacrificed to make developers, these big developers, richer and richer. Please, let us open the new year. Let us uh, make our resolutions, post-COVID resolutions, uh, as uh, one to preserve quality of life. We've seen what we've gone through. We really, really need to turn a new leaf. Let us not have COVID in vain or Miriam Parcher's death in vain. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good evening, Astrid. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you. Thank you. That was um, environmental activist Astrid Vella, and I also thank the Honourable Dr. Adrian Dalia. I thank you for watching again. Should you have any comments, any queries, as usual, please direct them to NET TV or myself via my blogs. I'll see you again next week at the same time. Good evening and keep safe.